Hey guys, what's up? Crafty Sheep here back again with another episode of Strange Horticulture. The, um, mystical, magical plant game. Uh, we're just gonna get into it. Pick up where we left off. Day 9, Saturday. Okay, do I have any notes? Because <clears throat> I have the will to travel. See if I have any notes. Oh god, I have a lot of notes. Golden Light, start of Long Meg, <clears throat> S3E2. Don't know what that means. Ah, uh, this looks hard to read. Fire's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages, location of cash cargo, for example, the principles. Da, 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 da. I already read this. And this is an elixir recipe, but, um,. I don't have my uh, potion brewing stuff yet, so let's put this back. We're gonna put this back. And then we're gonna look at Golden Light, start at Long Meg, S3E2. Well, Golden Light, start at Long Meg. Let me see. See if I can find golden light. Okay, I have no idea. Handy dandy phone. Cut this part out while I'm looking at my phone. Okay, so I can't do this until day 10. Okay, so we're going to back out, and um, I can't do this till day 10, and we're going to start taking customers. Pet the kitty. Yeah, this is a good kitty. Long Meg? Sorry I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights at the library taking their toll. Fever kiss. I will try. E F fever kiss. The red berries provide an energy boost that lasts several hours. The leaves are pale in color. Okay, so something with red berries. This one has red berries, doesn't it? Thin leaves and small purple red berries. Is this it? Is this what you want? Oh, that's bad. I can't get too many of those. This one has red berries. Small red berries. Let's try this one. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Alright. Next person. Hey, David. There's talk around town of some woman who wears a green mask made of jade. There are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Okay, I got a letter.
back put a candle. Does this thing have a candle on it? It does. So let's find back. It's just this map is so big. There's back foot. Candle. Candle leads me east of wastewater to the north of the mighty Scapel Pike. Grazes the to the north, the mighty Scaffold Pike grazes the sky, the tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons me, perhaps another time. Collect. I got a plant! Hooray! Okay, so this is done. So this can be archived. I figured out one on my own! Holy shit! Alright, let's put you back, take another customer, I've been talking to people around town trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world they called this thing the servant, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name, except the group called them themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the servant. They seem to worship it, but I'm getting distracted by my... I'm getting distracted. My Duranthemum supplies are loaded. I need more Duranthemum. Okay. Let's see what I can do for you, buddy. You see the Duranthemum. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from burning its long, sharp leaves elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some, known, some know Duranthemum as Green Eye, a name derived from the telltale sign of overdose where even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. Ah, oh, his eyes are green. Okay... The only information it gives me is long, sharp leaves. Which is not helpful. No. No. That doesn't have sharp leaves. Oh, I wish you'd stop that. Maybe this one? No, I don't think so, because it's got flowers on it. Why are you all by yourself over here? Okay, I'm gonna have to look up the ransom on because I have no idea. It doesn't give me enough information. Where's the image for it? Okay, it's got big purple flowers on it.
No, that's not it. I don't know if I have this. I don't see it. Maybe this? No, that's not it either. Huh. I don't think I have it. That's not good. So how do I get it? Found at the Tomb of the Hunter, B-14, after activating the viewing device. B-14. Alright. A, B... Fourteen. The memorial bears the name Sway Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Dreyer. It's a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Duranthemum sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Okay. Yep, that's the right plant. Now, how the hell was I supposed to know that? That's how. Alright, close this out. Where did they put that? Here it is. Okie dokie. Let's take some more customers. I crept around black combos two nights ago in the pitch black. The eye bright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. Oh. Hi on the... Can I scroll up? Okay, can I read the rest of that? I'd like to. Okay. High on the bridge line, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. I don't ima mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak to Brian <coughs> Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. You'd have to have been out drinking, too, if you'd seen what I did. Okay, wild coal.
wild coal. Purple berries are recommended by physicians and a place in place of hair of the dog mentality as a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. There are some who consider wild coal a sacred plant, perhaps owning to its rarity, and claim that it is bad luck to pick berries from it. Okay, so red berries. Okay, so we need red berries on something that's not already tagged. got red berries on it. Red fruits, long flat leaves. I don't think that's it. What about this one? The bulb is quite firm and turquoise in color. The orange fruits have no no. That's definitely not it. Maybe this one? Then leaves and small purple red berries. Okay, let's try this one. Yay! I figured it out! Sup? Hello. Okay. Pet the kitty. Neat. Yes. Well, it's... This looks like the right place. I don't want to have to trapeze all the way over to Red Pike, so hopefully you'll get what I... You've got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with smallish leaves and seems to grow mostly on red pike. At least that's the only place I've found it. That doesn't help me at all. I don't remember which plant I got from red pike. Why? Why do you make these things so difficult? Common trout. Okay. <clears throat> Common trout. Uh, is this it? Yes. I already had it identified. That's a kid. Poor Reuben, he looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the Stone Circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. <clears throat> and then the gilded Drenda. That really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest again. The Sisterhood will know more. Okay. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly gilded dendro plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the 
Pisma, or the Dread, but the most common name for it in the Shire is the Servant. You have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and Servant and Master, and there are hints of it on the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It's said that the dead ground northeast of Tibay, where the nothing but black digitus mortis grows, was caused when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. The dead ground northeast of Tibay. So that seems like a place I should go. I'm found on the map at C31. Okay. Northeast of Tibay. Northeast. C31. E C. 31 T Bay North East That was Northwest Where's my watering can? There it is. Okay. There's T Bay. North East. The wide area of blackened ground here is known for the locals as Dead Man's Fill. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil like fingers reaching out from the grave. Collect. Ugh. That's a disturbing looking plant. But I got a new plant! So yay. Okay, and this letter is done, so we can put that away. And we will end the day. Every day she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the task given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away in the back of her mind. Day 10, Sunday. Okay, we have a blank card. I think we need this to read it. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Where the hell is Foxfield? Foxfield, where are you? Here's Foxfield, two miles north. One, two. We mean nothing here. But But I'm confused. K11 Okay. K... 
I did. Eleven. Okay. I already went here. Three ravens circle above their caws and crooks, leaping the silence. An omen. Cleaving the silence. An omen. I take what I came for and leave. That's so weird. Because I just clicked on that same fucking block. But okay. Whatever. Alright. Pet the kitty. Oh, we're done. I'm sorry. The timer went off while I was looking up stuff. So we're good for today. We are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Out of time. So, we're going to leave it right here. This game is somewhat difficult, in my opinion. Because it doesn't give you a lot of clues or hints as to how to solve these things. I end up having to look up a lot of stuff, but... That's okay. I don't mind it so much. But so far, I'm liking the game for the most part. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel out. It means a lot to me. Uh, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Was it too over the top with the lack of information? I think it was. Let me know what you thought in the comments. But without further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You stay tuned and stay crafty. Until next time, bye!